now. Oop. I'm just kind of. So anyway, we'll see. I don't know if I've got this where it's going to work or not, but we'll, we'll find out in a minute. Here comes the little guy. Okay. So yeah, I mean, you know, we just, all one can do is stick with things and uh, go past the oneness and let it deconstruct in, on, in its timing. That's all. Continue forward uh, diligently, and uh, you know they're just like they say. I mean, what a blessing to have Guru out there saying that there is something beyond, because one doesn't know it until it's actually lived, until it's actually uh, spontaneously revealed. It just, there's no clue there. Exactly. Exactly. One can be in that oneness and, and think that that's it, but it's so not it, you know. And, and this is what I was, you know, we were talking a few minutes ago about the common ground. Somebody came to the Facebook and left because we can't find common ground. But there is no common ground in realization. For common ground to exist, there have to be two meeting of the minds, and there is no mind. <laughs> well, exactly, exactly. There's nothing to me, nothing to connect with. And, um, you know, to say that there's no relationship and nothing there is, is very frightening for people, but that fear only comes within duality and, and all of the suffering and all of that. And uh, until this, uh, you know, non dual reality is uh, spontaneous revealed, it just, I mean, I was like saying to Guruji, what an incredible difference, it's like a drop compared to the ocean, it's that mask of a difference, even in oneness, I have to say, I, I, I don't even know, like I say, what that was before here, like I say, the consciousness was more fluid and there was times of stillness and the ups and downs of it all. And yet thoughts were present, and, um, you know, just here that just continued with the practices. And, um, and, you know, it was more of a softer, I guess a softer suffering to it, but certainly there was suffering. Um, but when this reality revealed itself, it just, it just things dropped out, and it was just so vastly different than even that, even... Um, there's no getting away from it. It's just like like I was telling Guruji, like who I thought I was just began to dissolve with, just started dissolving where it was like I couldn't recognize who I was, you know, who I thought I was, but yet everything was my own being and there was no separation. It's like just all, you know, uh, no division. It's just completely whole. And, um, and it was just an, an incredible, I mean, it's like the bottom drops out of something that was contained, felt contained. I mean, it's just that whoosh, just flood into an ocean. That's how it felt. That's the difference of it. Yeah, it's no longer a oneness, sort of like one, you know, and that's no. what oneness is. It's sort of like, well, I'm, I, I can see that I'm one with everything, you know. But it, it's not the same thing. It's just so not the same thing. No, no, because there's no center to it, even though it's all, it's not like there's an eye looking, there's there's no fear. It's just all, uh, all light. It's just, all, just that is, so there's no um, center looking out or making a judgment of something, you know, there's no persona within it, no individuality. And um, just no division. Again, the best way here is just to say non-dual, that there's, you know, um, an ever-present non-dual is. You know? Right. It's it, just... Again, so hard to describe, but what a right. difference from something something there. There's nothing there. Right. It's, it's, it's very, so, it's that so. impersonal. It, it's the ground of being. And, and the other oneness is like, well, there's all these personalities, whatever, and they're all in God. Uh -huh. But this, uh -huh. there is no persona. That, that storyline, all of that has, has just flushed out, and it is not, and the mind is not. 
And when yeah. it's not, then, then there is no obstruction, no occlusion. Ground of being and, and finding common ground are so far away from each other, you know. <laughs> oh, so that's what, oh, just so, so, so far away. And that's all that can be said that when Guru says this, it's, it, it just, it's um, such grace, you know. And, and like I say, it's, it can only be known until that, you know, um, living reality is actually, you can't even say it's experience because it just is. It's, it's the natural state. It's what's there under all the tarnish of all these things you think you are. Exactly. And so the greatest compassion is to do whatever is possible to break through the storylines yeah. and to say that that's not it. And people think you're being judgmental. They think that you're being, you know, one up them or whatever, this drama. But that's not it at all. No, when you come in. No, that's a, it's just, it's the greatest compassion to just break through this for those that are willing. I mean, if you're not, have at it and enjoy. But, um, you know, absolutely, there's just this this other reality, this, this being that, um, and again, they say it's a ground because there's nowhere else to go. Right. And there's no one that can go anywhere. There's it's nobody there. left to it's go just, anywhere. That's the ground, that's it. That's, that's <laughs> it. Time to deal, job done. And, um, and so, uh, like they say here, it's just so, so vastly different than anything else that I could say that I experienced, or even within stillness. I mean, maybe there was someone watching that stillness. I don't really know. I have to say it was just confusion. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. But, um, this is absolute clarity, but there's, you know, there's no one there. Yeah, there's nobody there. So, you know, when there's nobody there, what, again, we come back to this idea of common ground. You know, it's either realization or you're in story and you're looking to connect in stories and have a better story. But when the story falls, what common ground? What common ground is there in that? All that can be said is you, you are not what you think you are. And yeah, any yeah, story, yeah. any story cheapens it. Any story is not it. Any idea about it is not it. You know, that's all that can be said. And the greatest compassion is to, to yes, put this out there and continue to say this. You know, we're not trying to be hard on, on people and not thinking that we're something better than them. That's impossible. Because all have the same ground of being. That's just that one. There is no other. So if you want to come in and present other and try to make this something dual, it, it's impossible. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, exactly. Exactly. Like you're saying, I mean, it's just, it's non-dual. So if one comes in looking for division and in that divisive mindset, it just, it's not there. It's just not present in that non-dual reality, not a drop of it. And it can never be. You can't care how much you try to make it happen or make it sound that way. Right. And that's, that's freedom. And that's why the guru, you know, to cut through that, to bring one to true freedom, not to something that's fabricated, not that even has a slightest layer of, you know, who you think you are, your individual, um, um, you know, your individual stories and all that you cling to just isn't it and not even a drop there. And this is, that's the compassion is to bring one to true freedom uh, of what the core of what, you know, the core of all beings are, not in a separate way. Right. There's, way. there's never any relationship with non-duality to a story. Never. There cannot be. There is yeah. no, because then it would be back in duality. You know, and so there is never any common ground or relationship with a story. You know, non-duality is about coming to that impersonal is, which I know sounds so scary when you're looking to define yourself. You know, it's like, it's almost like people come and they have this idea, well, myself is going to be this grand beingness but it's got its own personal flavor to it you know and 
and so you know we all have our own beauty in our own you know and it's everyone is different but we're all the same you know and that's this idea of oneness you know that keeps this personalized identity that wants to have relationship with other and that's so not realization when realization takes place all of that just is in one fell swoop gone Exactly, Go exactly. And any of that <laughs> sounds good and it feels good. And, and, you know, again, but it's just not it. And that's just yeah. uh, the main thing that, you know, that non-dual reality just doesn't have any relationship with anything. No, it's one. What What is there to have relationship with? There is no other. Therefore, there yeah, is no relationship, no you know. And to, to try to have relationship with 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 a story is delusion <laughs> and that's it is it's absolutely a hundred percent it's just imagination you know that it's in the realm of imagination and mind and um and it just has there's absolutely no at hope no meaning no reality um right and there's not one better delusion than another illusion no, and, and delusion are matter. suffering what it is not story None of them. I don't care about how much better relationship you think you may be cultivating, but all of that is the drama of duality, and all of that is the suffering of the wheel of karma, and it holds all of that in place until it yeah. deconstructs and the mind stills, and there is none of that. And there is no seeking other relation. There is none of that because it is whole and complete as it is, always has been whole and complete. And the only thing that is not whole and complete is this idea of relationship and other that's looking for common ground. That is not whole. That has got an H-O-L-E that's looking to be filled with other. And when all of that deconstructs, and there's only that vast is. There is nothing that has been separate ever. Yes. And, and the yes. occluding stories are at an end. No story, no matter how grand it sounds, is going to be it. Or will it add one iota of anything to anything? <clears throat> it just brings suffering. No. <laughs> No, that's so, so it, and, um, and like, nothing is lost, I mean, that's what so many feel, like, well, oh, no relationship, well, what, is, and that's not it, truly, I mean, it's all just, it's one being, I mean, that one that you think is the other is, is your very self, I mean, not in a separate way, how beautiful is that, but it's just, it's, um, it can't even be described. I mean, even to put words on it tarnishes it, and yet, you know, the one that lives within that reality can only use words because that's what mind seems to be the only thing that can be done. But uh, it just um, well, that's the only way know, that that's the only way to to respond to to one in duality is through words. But but those that have deconstructed into non-duality, there is no word that's going to suffice no. because all of that is no. duality. That That's all. Yeah, that's it. That's it. But yeah, you know, one could speak from it just, you know, hey, this is, you know, just to let, uh, like I say, the compassion of what is, those know that want to cling to oneness, you know, there is, there's, something vastly different there's a vastly different reality that lies beyond that exactly and so much more beautiful so much more whole so oh. much more direct so much more than anything you can imagine in oneness no matter how oh. intoxicating that is you know no matter how intoxicating that is and that blissfulness and all of that you know passion that's there when all of that drops and falls, it just, you would never, there would never be a going back into that for any amount of anything, ever. Oh, no, never, never, never. Um, and it just can only be known when it's lived. It can just, that's it. You know, it needs to be directly uh, lived, but that's only when 
all that sense of being an individual self gets washed completely clean and there's nothing to hold back from just that uh, revealing itself spontaneously. Exactly, exactly. And that, that comes when, you know, the, all of the practices are directing one to the, to the heart center and also to, to not continue to engage mind to be looking for bigger, better stories. You know, it, it's a, to allow it to start to still and fall back in on itself without projecting out. You know, it's about internalizing, so it starts to feed on its own drama and then see through the drama and deconstruct it, rather than continuing to look out, and I'm going to tell you it has, how it has to be and what I've found to be true and what I've found to construct in my world. No. Yeah. This is why it said, be still and know. It doesn't say, go out and project your whatever you found and save the world. No, be still and know. Be still and know. So, so you know, and, and so this is again why I said today, you know, people that want to try to use um, quotes and things from, from the realized beings, if you're not in realization, why are you doing that, you know? It's not your reality yet. It's not reality yet for you. It's another conjecture. So rather than doing that, stop. Go within, be still, let it all deconstruct until that becomes the reality, until that is the reality, and then speak from that. Then speak from yeah. that. When it becomes yeah. absolute truth, rather than a conjecture, something you're holding to, something you're going to project outwards, when all deconstructs, then that is all that remains. And then then it's valid to speak from that. <clears throat> yes, yes, perfect, perfect, yeah. And to just see it, you know, when the mind starts going, just see it and draw it back into that heart center. Just continue it when it strays to, you know, it, it, it takes persistence and nonstop, um, you know, with, the, with those efforts of just pulling it back and just not, not buying into all that stuff. I mean, not even one piece of it. Uh, it's not a treasure. It's not something to be held dear. I mean, like I was telling Guruji, it's like an old, old piece, of, piece of skin that just fell off, you know? It's, it's not, it doesn't have any value. <laughs> Uh, compared to, again, there's nothing that can be compared because there's nothing that stands beside this non-dual existence. There's no other. But um, so, so vastly different. And um, it just, it, it just, you, it, I don't know. There's, there's the treasure, okay? <laughs> there it is. There's that uh, pearl. Yeah, when that you skin know, is finally yeah. shed. Yeah, when that old skin of oneness is finally shed. <laughs> and oh, it's, exactly. it's all empty, yes. all exactly. empty. And like I say, not even one, not even one sentence of um, a story it is, can be held to. Um, none of that, you know, that's really like a um, little wave uh, on the ocean or um, it's turbulence. It's, it's pure awareness, but it's in turbulence, so it's not pure it, it, there can only be awareness. That's all that's ever there. There's never been an individual there. But pure awareness gets ruffled and vibrates or it's not pure anymore with these thought projections and these, you know, all of this nonsense. Yeah, so it all just has to fall yeah. and the mind has to fall and the mind has to die into to that stillness until that ever-present yeah. is. That's all. That's all. Yeah. So as long as mind is going and you come and you hear something that's ruffling your feathers, then know very much that the ego is still there. It hasn't died. There's somebody there to what is getting ruffled. Yeah. What is what is getting ruffled? You know, sit with that. Sit with that. What is feeling this angst? What is feeling this anger? To what is that arising? Just keep falling it in on itself rather than projecting it outward, you know, trying to find some sort of uh, something to project it out towards. 
bring it back in on itself, bring it back in on itself, bring it back in on itself until it deconstructs and you find out what is prior to all of that drama. <laughs> yes, and there's no other way. There's no other way. Well, maybe I can hold on to this. There's nothing. There's no other way around it. No, there's no other way around it. One has to encounter themselves and the fallacy of it. Yeah. Until it all goes, yes. Yeah. You just, the best thing that any teacher can do is throw it back in on itself. To th continue to throw you back in on yourself. Every time you want to project it outwards to another, throw you back in on yourself until it all deconstructs. Yes. So that's what, uh, that's what the path is. That's what the path is. Don't, you know, even Ramana, when he said, just hold to the eye, and then eventually that eye will deconstruct. Why is that? Rather than projecting it outwards and giving it aspects, that's why. Don't go any further than that first cognition, you know, because then you're constructing a world around it. And eventually all that world has to deconstruct first, and then it comes back into view. You know, but first, exactly. first well, exactly. it's got to and deconstruct. That's what eventually happens continuously as mm -hmm. one continues to pull the mind in when it strays yes. into the center and just, you know, um, engaging the practice. Eventually, it just enough of it gets whittled away that just that eye is there and that just vibrates. I mean, like I say, from the, what took place here, that just starts vibrating, well, I, I, and then the mind is, well, what is this I? You know, where does this I come from? It's just more of a focus on the I until that, the bottom drops out of that, and then the non-dual presence, which has always been, you know, um, the, what is as truth, you know, the core of your being, and this is what remains, is this non-dual presence just spontaneously Revealed is revealed. Exactly. So all of that happens by grace. But we've yeah. got to be in the right space to get the grace, okay? <laughs> the space for yeah. grace is that quiet, you know, and, and nobody, no ego gets in the door and gets back out alive and have it remain. So <laughs> thank God for that. Yeah. Everyone should think they're the one that got away, but no, when you get away, you're in the suffering. Then you're still in suffering and, and oneness at most, you know. But yeah, no, that it's got to deconstruct and thank God for that. Thank God yeah. that, that it does. God, yeah. And that story ends. Absolutely. And all and stories it's not, end. No, it's not by your choice, because your choice is, the ego's choice is to stay ingrained in what it feels is familiar and into exactly. all that, um, the projections and all of the nonsense. But So it becomes more of a choiceless it, it just happens by grace, it's stripped away by grace, and, and that's why, you know, like here, like I say, I think that the devotion is really important, the faith, and, you know, faith in, in the self, which is mm -hmm. the guru, just that, you know, there is something beyond, and, and to not buy into the rest of it, because, you know, eventually it will turn a corner, it can't not when enough of it is worn away, enough resistance, and there's that, just that maybe a thin little string, I mean, it's going to be pulled, and then it just... And once that reality is, is lived, it's it just, there's no words. It just is, you know, there's, there's, that's it. And, um, exactly. I, I mean, like I say here, it's beautiful, it doesn't touch it. No words can even come close. It's just, it's not a word anyway, so, but, um. Yeah, there's never been you know, a word constructed for what it is. <laughs> no, no, so just not keep possible. on, you know, continue and like be diligent and, you know, it takes, I mean, it's really, you want to say the word relentless, but honestly, one needs to just really full bore at this thing, but not with a feeling of doership or, you know, I'm going to get this and you know, being all tense about it, but just really quite steady. Exactly, exactly. I think one of the worst things is, is that it's called impersonal. You know, although yeah. one can never say it's personal, it, it is impersonal, but impersonal is such a cold word, and there, it, it is not that at all. It's just so not no, what people no, think it's no. going to be, you know, it, it's so not what people think it is. It is such a liberating 
thing, but when it, it when L falls away, one knows one has always been liberated. There was no constriction other than what we ourselves held in place, and that's such the delusion. We've always been free, but we've been free to choose the delusion. And that's the delusion in itself, to think that we have no choice, and, and to, you know, it's just that whole, it's just such a, you look at it, when, when it's all fallen away and it's been so ridiculous. It's like waking oh, up from absolutely. a bad joke. <laughs> what a joke. I mean, exactly. And you are you're your own worst enemy. Exactly. You know, by clinging to stubborn, oh, well, you know, but this is this way, and they may think that way, and just, you know, and it's just empty stuff. I mean, it just it has no tie on it. You know, and again, this isn't a judgment in that way because we've all been there. You know, that's that's part of, of you, know, you go through ego until it goes. But um, certainly just to hear to say, you know, just don't buy into that. Just keep at it. And um, uh, when that all falls, it just, <laughs> yeah, it just, you know, it's just like a, a bad nightmare, a ridiculous joke that one bought into when that freedom was here within every moment. Exactly, exactly. So, so uh, just with this, yeah, with this, yeah. this is our New Year's message. Don't, don't give up. Don't, you know, don't look for it outside. You know, don't look for it outside. Just continue to throw ego and it's these illusions and delusions that keep coming up in these stories. Just keep throwing them back in on themselves, you know. So, so that's what it's, what's meant, you know, by, by going forward on the path. Let's, you know, let's see. I want to see people come to freedom, not to have a better wheel of karma, but I want to see them break the wheel of karma and be done with it. So that's yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Siddhartha. Your Siddhanta. desire is true freedom. This is the, this is the way, um, you know, this is the pointing. Exactly. And, um. There's just no other way around it is that ego needs to go, that the mind needs to be annihilated 100%. You know, this sounds so, oh my gosh, but you know, all gets done and, and all is spontaneous, even if you don't think it is, it is. <laughs> yes, it really you is. Know, that's the reality of it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so keep at it. I mean, like I say, this could be your next breath, and um, the bottom could drop out at any time. You're not aware of it. You really, you know, you may not even know, usually. I mean, there may be some shifts, and usually it's what takes place. I hear there were shifts until it was fully, you know, um, in that non-dual reality, but um, you just you don't know sometimes, and it just, so just keep at it. It could be, you know, your very next breath. Eventually it will. It'll, it'll break open. Right. For here, there was suffering up until that moment of, that everything deconstructed. So, you know, you just never know when that moment will be. But if you turn on your back on it, guaranteed it won't come. So, so just be open and continue to go forward. And know that it will come in its timing. When all has been worn away underneath, it, it will finally deconstruct and implode or fall away, whichever way it goes, and uh, then then that living presence will be revealed that's always been there. Okay? Yes, absolutely. So, Namaste. Thank you. Namaste to all. Happy New Year's. <laughs>